and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do autocorrect with any rich text box it's a fairly simple tutorial so now I'm gonna name my um, project um, let me just name it autocorrect And I'm gonna wait for my form to come up. Now basically what autocorrect does is that it um basically what it does in Visual Basic, how I code it, is that it saves the current position in the rich text box and then um it does all the autocorrect and once it corrects everything it goes back to that position. So now I'm going to resize the form and I'm going to go to properties and as you know I like to mess around with the form I'm going to change the text to um, auto correct show icon false minimize box And I'm going to change the form border style of fixed reading. Next, you, I'm going to add a rich text box. Now, this, don't get me wrong, this also works in a text box. So, let me dock it. And let's add on a timer. And just for the sake of an example, I'm going to auto-correct. It's a common misspelled word. Let me just take beautiful. Even though it's not really commonly misspelled. Let's say this. Um, dim. Uh, carrot as integer equals. Mm, dim carrot as integer equals rich text box one dot selection start. If, oops, not that, if rich text box, text box one dot, dot text dot contains, contains, um, if it contains, we're gonna autocorrect. Beautiful. Um, then, well, you have to actually spell it wrong. Which, looks one dot find. Beautiful. Spelled wrong. And... Xbox one dot text equals not text dot replace. We don't need this line by the way. Um replace beautiful with you. And yeah, it just replaces it, and then at the end, we're gonna say rich text box one dot selection start equals carrot. And now, if you want to do one more, let's just say else if rich text box one text dot contain oops text dot contains 
something. Spelled wrong, then rich text box will not text equals rich text box will not text dot replace. Um, replace something with something. Now, let me show step by step what's going on. It saves the selection start as an integer. It f it sees if any of these results are in here. If it is, then it replaces it. Now. You actually don't have to have the if and else if and stuff. You can just say replace it, replace it, replace it, replace it. But um, I think I remember before the tutorial, I did different way. I'm still trying to uh, think what I did. Anyway, oh wait, the timer's not enabled, I don't think. So let's go back to timer and enable true. And let's make the interval 1 for the sake of for just making it look really slick. So let's type in um okay, so that 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 worked except it brought me behind the oh, let me do um brought me one behind the G. Let me just say this. Carrot plus one. And there we go. So you see it's 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 a beautiful thing. Like beautiful something. It's beautiful. I know I spelled it right there. I'm too lazy to spell it. But that's pretty much all about doing autocorrect in a rich text box in VB 2010 in Visual Studio. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more right when they come out. Also, see my new website. Um, but yeah, that's it. So, I will see you sometime this week, hopefully. So, that's it. It should be tomorrow or Tuesday. So, that's it. Bye.